Warning. These videos are designed for HVAC professionals only. Please, please do not attempt this on your own stuff. Welcome to TEC Tube. My name is Neil and I work in a commercial tech support department. Today's topic is going to be motor shiv and fan pulley alignment and belt tensioning. Come with me. Welcome to the warehouse in Lansing. We're going to continue our conversation with alignment of belts and belt tensioning. First thing we're going to check is the belt alignment. There's a couple ways to check belt alignment, either with a string or with a straight edge. The first thing I'll try is with a straight edge to see how far out of alignment the belt shivs and pulleys can be. I know you can't see it too well, but I'm about a good inch out of alignment here. If you decide to use string, simply wrap it in there. Be careful of your fingers. And now we need four points of contact here. Point A, point B, point C, point D. When all four of those are nice and snug together, we have proper alignment of our belt, of our shiv and pulley. As you can see, I'm about, you can't see, you're about an eighth inch here, about a three quarters of an inch here, and we're tight on the back here. Could be a little bit tight on that, because that shiv is a little off. As you can see, when we start to bring it in, I hit here first before my other two points of contact make. We're out of alignment. So what we have to get is point A, point B, point C, and point D to all be flush. As you can see, flush here, flush here, but not here. We're out of alignment. Next thing I want to check is to make sure that my motor isn't turned or cocked on an angle and that it's straight and parallel to the fan pulley. To check my alignment of my motor, I'll take two simple measurements off my motor shift. Since they're equal distance apart, I know my motor is lined up right and that my pulley that I can slide in and out is what's causing my out of alignment. To get it into alignment, we'll simply loosen the set screw so it's all the way out until you can freely move your fan pulley. Once that's done, we can check our points again flush A, flush B, and then we come back to C and D. Now we have four points of flush. Flush, 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 flush. At this point, we can tighten down all the bolts that allow our motor to shift up and back on this. Once we get our alignment properly aligned with our motor pulley and our motor shift, we tighten down the bolts and now, we're, now we can check the belt tension. Check the belt tension in our IOM manual. We'll have a belt tensioner guide selection chart. It's gonna show you how to measure between the center line, what diameter motor pulley we have, and then if we have a newer used belt and what tension to set it to. This all pertains if you actually have a belt tensioner. If you don't have a belt tensioner, I'll show you an alternative mode to do it later on. So the first thing we're going to do is measure our center distance. Our center distance is 17 inches, or center points are 17 inches. Half of that's going to be eight and a half inches. So that's going to be our actual center point of where we're going to test our tensioning on. Once we figure that point out, we're going to come back up with another straight edge, line it up on our belt, and then we're going to test our tension by taking our depressor and pushing it down. When we do that, we zero out our, our tensioner, and then we align our big O-ring at the bottom to the center point distance. And that center point is gonna be the distance between our two points there. Once we figure that out, we simply put this over the belt, be pressed down. On this unit, we have a four and three quarter inch pulley. So we're gonna take our hand up here to a chart because we have an A-belt, four and three quarters, New notched belt, 7.4 deflection force pounds. Deflection force pounds are gonna be found here. So as soon as we find that, we depress it down to that. As you can see, that moves up and that'll test our deflection. So now you wanna find your eight inches here. 
your center point. So roughly eight inches is here. So pretty much roughly, this is gonna be the point of where I'm gonna test my deflection. As you can see, at that point right there, my big, my big old ring fell quite below where I should have been at the seven pounds. So we need to tighten up our belt a little bit. Once I realigned my belt, it made it tighter by shifting my motor away from my fan pulley to tighten up the belt. We now can recheck and see if we got the proper belt tension on this. So what we'll do is we'll put our straight edge back on, check our center point. We're at 17 inches, so we're gonna go eight and a half again off that. So roughly about here. Now we're gonna check our tension, okay? We already referenced in the manual that we got a four and a quarter motor shiv, which equates with an A belt to 7.4 pounds of force. I hit my line, I release, 7.4 pounds of force. 7.4 pounds of force. We now have the pop, proper belt tension. Once this is achieved, we go through again, we make sure that all our bolts are tight. Let the unit run for about an hour, two hours, maybe even longer if you're doing a little bit of maintenance. Come back to the unit and recheck the belt tension at that point to see if anything has changed. Another thing to focus on is that we took these readings and measurements with our pulley, with our motor pulley matched to the width of the fan pulley. We have adjustable shivs, motor shivs. We turn out the shiv. This guy's going to spin slower, slower fan speed. We turn our shiv in. We make our, our belt larger, larger diameter. This is going to spin faster. We're going to create more CFM this way. Always when you're doing belt measurements and alignments, you need to match this with that. So basically your motor shiv width and your fan pulley width should be the same size. Now we know that afterwards we're gonna air balance and the air balancer might open up the shiv. He now created this out of alignment again. However, our center changed. So you can't take a piece of string when you open this up and get the same center line. So now there'd be a, another version of how are you gonna measure and make sure that this is straight. You can do it by straight edge or by every turnout. Um, creates another distance away from this. So if you have a straight edge, you turn this out and you have an equidistant point between this side and this side, we know that our belt is riding in the center of an open shift. Meaning when it's opened up like this, our center changes. So we have to have an equal side here and equal side here based off our fan pulley. Once that is done, we should have proper straight alignment of our belt and tension is gonna be checked the same way as that at all. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please check out our other TEC2 videos and we'll see you next time.